Six months into the relationship, he told me his ex was crazy, which is what every man does. But this one sounded legit. He said she used to scream at him in the streets and she threw a chair at his head once. And because it was six months in, I was like, a baby. <laughs> Who would hurt a baby? <laughs> And then four years later, I was like, that was the appropriate response to his behavior. Hi, I'm Marcus, and I'm the idiot on the comedy circuit. I've asked a group of comedians some questions on how to start and succeed in the world of stand-up comedy. Subscribe to this channel to see what their answers were, as well as to chart my progress on stage, be it crushing or crashing. More likely the latter than the former. You can also follow my progress on social media. I am ION Comedy on Twitter and ION Comedy Circuit on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Here is today's video. They're not all written the same way because they're not all um, inspired the same way. So I would say most of the time I either there's a sticky idea, something that's bothering me or something I don't understand. And I would say that's a sticky premise. That's like, like you know, um, uh, I'm trying to think of something new um, that I'm working on. Um, those are stories. Uh, joke, 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 joke. Like dating apps, like I have a new dating app. So it'd just be about like, you know, the structure of finding somebody within your age bracket and how does that work? So I don't think anything funny initially happened. I was just using this app and thinking about how stupid or annoying it is. And that would be like a sticky premise that I want to explore as opposed to sometimes something literally funny happens or something ridiculous happens or something crazy happens. And that's more like the punchline is there and I have to structure the rest of the story around it. So I'm working on uh, kind of a story joke about going to the Pakistani embassy because I was doing a tour in Pakistan and they lost my passport. And when they handed me a passport, it wasn't mine. And they tried to convince me it was mine. And it was like a 55 year old woman with a different name and a different face. And they were like, that's you. And I was like, is this gaslighting? Like what? <laughs> so like the, the situation itself was ridiculous and funny. And then I have to then teach the audience why I'm going to Pakistan, why this is crazy, and how ridiculous the situation is, as opposed to dating apps. People are on them or they understand them, but I'm finding something specific I'm annoyed with, and then I find the punchline afterwards. So it's two different ways of approaching it, and it's all just about what inspired me to even go through with it. So um, I would first, let's start with like something funny happens. Like I said, I would, I already know what the at least one of the punchlines is going to be and then I'm um, um, working backwards and the whole goal of every story and joke is to tell as little information as I need to for you to be where I need you to be and enjoy this joke. So sometimes I overwrite and I'm telling you too much information and while I perform it I can see like they don't really need to know that or they're starting to get tired. Let's see if I can condense this and I'm just I'm editing and editing and editing down. And then when it comes to something general and that everybody understands like dating apps, I don't feel like I need to really explain dating apps. They're already explained in itself. So then what I'm trying to do is explore, well, why does this bother me? Or why is this dumb? Or why is this ridiculous? And now it's more teaching people my perspective because we already, I don't need to teach you anything about dating apps. 90% of us know what they are. And that was today's video. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell to be prompted when a new video comes out. And don't forget to follow me on social media, ION Comedy on Twitter and ION Comedy Circuit on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. Okay, bye bye.